Hello everybody, it's been about six months since I've done up a video, so I thought it'd be a good idea to give everybody a little bit of an update. Um, so, it's been a, a bit of a mixed bag. I've got some ups and some downs. I'll start with the ups. So, uh, since I last spoke, I've been slowly taking off my sunglasses for longer and longer periods of time to get myself acclimated to the light again. And uh, I'm now up over three hours a day with my sunglasses off. And uh, I'm very happy about that. Um, uh, I also, after uh, uh, the last video, I've been getting out more, or I was getting out more. I was getting out uh, like a couple times a week. I was eating meat a couple times a week usually or more. And I was doing stuff on my computer and stuff like that. So, uh, But unfortunately, I've kind of stalled a little bit. Um, so... Uh, I, uh, when it hit July, I started to regress a little bit. I'm still trying to hold on to what I've gained. So I still go out for one, I try to go out for one longer walk a week. Uh, I still walk on my treadmill and, uh, I'm still eating meat usually once a week. Um, so I'm just trying to hold on to some of the progress I've made. Um, but, uh, it's been a little tough for the last couple months. So Overall, I think I'm still doing all right. I'm still holding on to still doing my own grocery shopping. And uh, one thing I like to do to strengthen my eyes is I read uh, articles on my tablet here. Um, I look at Google News every day and just to slowly strengthen my eyes. Um, for the last week or so, a couple weeks, I've been trying to get on my computer almost every day, except not today. Um, to again just try to slowly strengthen my eyes but uh, I'm still reasonably positive and hopeful and see how things go from here um, do I have any other news um, I think that's most of it um, I've just had a bit of a harder time the last couple months but uh, I'm still doing all right uh, I'm I'm very happy about my eyes being being able to spend more time without the sunglasses off. Uh, I go at a rate, so every three days I increase by three minutes how long I have my sunglasses off. So since I started, I'm now up to three hours and nine minutes a day with my sunglasses off. So I'm pretty happy about that. So that's most of the news I've got. But uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about... Uh, since I'm reading articles again on my tablet, I thought I'd talk about the most significant news article I've ever read. And uh, it may sound kind of silly when I tell it to you, but it did have an impact on me. Um, I'm a, as a self-confessed news junkie, I've read a lot of articles over the years. But, uh, like, I've read a lot, but uh, there's very few that I can remember parts about con con concretely. Um, it's... Uh, you know, there, there's only a few articles that have had a really big impact on me. And uh, so when I finished college, I took a job up in Ottawa. And I decided, I, even though I was done college, I wanted to continue learning things. So uh, I decided I wanted to learn a little bit about economics and finance and such. Um, because it just seemed interesting, even though I wasn't smart enough to be an economist. I just thought I'd uh, learn a little bit somewhere. To, because in political discussions it comes up so often and I wanted to learn a bit so I didn't feel so ignorant. And uh, so I didn't quite know where to start, but uh, I, uh, I decided that uh, I'd start following the oil industry and news in the oil industry and the price of oil and such. Because in my mind I thought most of the world economy runs on oil, so it might be a good place to start. And uh, so what I did was every day I'd go on to Bloomberg News' Energy Markets News part of their website, and I'd follow the price of oil, and I'd read the articles they'd have posted. And uh, I did this for some time. And uh, then one day on, uh, on Bloomberg News, they had an article there. And it, it wasn't a drastically different article from most of their other stuff. So what it was was it was just a wrap-up of the week of what had happened in the oil markets, and uh, about some of the things that would be affecting the oil markets going forward. And uh, I don't remember most of what it was talking about, but I remember the last little bit of it. And at the bottom, 
they had, they said, a survey of oil analysts projects that the price of oil will go up or down in the coming week, one or the other, up or down. I forget which one. And they could have stopped there. They could have just said that, and that would have been, they would have earned their paycheck, I guess. But I will be ever thankful for what they posted next. So right underneath, it said, the surveys of oil industry analysts have been correct 48% of the time. And I was shocked. I laughed. I was like, all this time, I've been reading all these predictions over the, like, over the months that I've been following it, and I just assumed they were right, or at least had a good chance of being right. And it turns out they were actually slightly worse than flipping a coin. And uh, it may be a silly thing to remember to have a big, big impact on me, but it really did. It fundamentally changed the way I read news on finance and economics and stuff like that, and business news. Is uh, So if you're ever listening to the news or something and somebody's on there projecting what the price of oil do, just ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. And uh, it, it really fundamentally changed the way I read a lot of news that because uh, these people were very smart people they these oil analysts they're people with a lot of experience in the industry they probably have some complex mathematical models to describe what's going on and they make their predictions but those predictions are essentially worthless and i think it was this article that led me to read the book the black swan because in that book it uh it talks about situations where having more knowledge can actually make you worse at decision making because you think you know what you're talking about and you don't hedge your bets accordingly and uh, so that that article fundamentally changed the way i read news and looked at things and uh, it never occurred to me that i could sit down and actually keep track of what these predictions were and see if they were right or not i just assumed oh well these people are smart they they got to be right but they weren't <laughs> and uh and that's the most interesting article I've ever read. And uh, it probably sounds kind of silly, but it did have a big impact on me. Anyway, enough for now. I'll see you later. <laughs>